All right, party people, welcome back. Uh, it's sunny today, sun's out, it's bright. It's uh, upper 50s, it might get to 60 degrees, so uh, yeah, my eyes are not used to the bright sun, so I got my shades on today. Um, I have some MTB hopper ramps, and you've probably seen the one that I used in my garage to do some of the uh, fakie videos. I'm gonna show you how to put these together, and I'm actually weigh them and show you how much they weigh it, it's pretty manageable and I think they've done a great job at uh, cutting out the additional uh, material uh, from the plywood to kind of lighten it up a bit so we'll do that and um, I actually have two of those ramps and a tabletop a little small tabletop that goes in between them let's do it let's see how much this thing weighs it's like an all-in-one suitcase when you first get it I'm just gonna turn this scale on uh, we'll do a kilogram and a pound measurement hard to see these digital letters out here and i'm just going to pick it up um, by this little handle here and see if we can bring it up to the scale here or to the camera so what are we doing here Let's see if we can get a reading steady enough yeah it looks like it's about what 36 pounds something like that so it looks like it's about 16.3 kilograms in case you're ever wondering, if you build one of these out of your own wood, uh, you can expect them to weigh quite a bit, actually. They've done a good job of milling out the extra material. Obviously, there's drawbacks to that. You know, one being how much weight they can actually hold. So, um, But there's always a trade-off on these things. So the first thing you do is you want to just kind of unfold it. And all your parts kind of lay in the center of this thing. So it's like a, it's like a suitcase. I'm just going to unpack these and throw them over to the side. It's easy to tell which is the, uh, the top part. I'm just going to build it like this. Spin it around. So this is the top because it has the little slots cut in it for the support pieces. And I'll show you what that means. All right, the first thing we want to do is actually assemble the skeleton or the pieces that actually hold the ramp. So these little cutouts here, looks like little fingers. Those are go at the bottom because that's where your uh, your levelers actually attach to. So let's set this thing up. So we'll have a piece here. In our middle section here. We're going to put these on the end. You can see that there's some little cut out there that they fit into. Alright, so that's our skeleton. That's how easy it is to build the skeleton. So I'm just gonna lay this out on the top and just click in just like that. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. You can tell the top part of this, this uh, or the, the part that is at the top of the ramp by these notches that are etched out. And also there's a hopper logo in the middle there. And you can see the notches here at the bottom as well. So we have the logo there. So I also have an extension that comes up another, I guess it's probably another foot or so. I didn't bring that today, but uh, something I'll be taking out as well. 
All right, so now we're gonna take these little bungees down here, pull those over the notches. That'll get our top situated. So there's six of these. And that will pull it together snugly. So the way the feet work are, there's uh, there's the base here, and it just kind of kind of sits in there, and you can make it as high or as low as you want based on the terrain. And this is just like a C clip, so it clips around the the leg. Once you uh, get this on, basically this uh, clips around it to keep it on. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to start out with it near the bottom. And you just want to wrap the uh, this other bungee here. Snap it around the C-clip so it doesn't come out. Right. And now we'll just do the other side and the ones for the middle. building the landing. I'm gonna put those on before you actually put the top on. So let me go grab those. All right, so these are the two, uh, two additional pieces you'll get with the ramps and you wanna make sure they're on the, the landing ramp for sure. So I believe they go like this. Center spine. Just slide that over a little bit and then the other center piece goes like that That's the landing ramp. It's our tabletop parts. Then a counter salt here that needs to be on the bottom. So we're gonna lay it like that first. And these triangles. 
tiny pieces here. Like this. And then this bridge piece goes across like this. These. Not across the little bridge there, and then they just wrap around. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Would you look at that? Just look at that. So the other two pieces you get with these ramps um, are these. And so these are for making a really small ROM height ramp. So you can use um, just two of those sections there and make a smaller ramp, which I'm gonna do that now, but uh, don't throw these away because they'll, they'll be useful if you need a little small kicker for some reason, or if you have uh, children or something that wants to hit the ramps. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna convert this takeoff ramp to a little small uh, kicker. All right, if you're gonna make the small kicker ramp, you've gotta put these in. And these go like this on each side. So, I'm gonna show you here, before this piece goes in actually, this piece goes in first, and that end locks like that, and then the top locks on it, and you can just fold that over. There's like a little, might be a one foot kicker maybe. And then you can put your tie downs on. So yeah, so that's your little small kicker. And uh, to convert it to the big one, you just take those little two pieces out and uh, put the big part of the skeleton on and fold the uh, top over. So pretty easy. So the other thing that comes with this set as well is uh, they call it a jump height ruler here. And uh, this comes with the tabletop. So you can just slide this up and down and uh, it basically just clicks in the top of the tabletop here. There's a little slot for it as such. And uh, when it bridges the two jumps, and the idea is if you hit it, you know, it'll, it'll fly out and fly over. All right, let's, uh, let's tear down this thing and I'll show you how to uh, pack and store one of these ramps. First, I'm gonna take the tabletop off. And 
All right. First things first, remove the top, which is held on by these uh, six bungees here. And you can just fold it right off. And you want to lay this out because we're going to be putting other parts inside. take our feet off so we undo the bungee and remove the legs we'll pack these in last All your little feet pieces. Keys. And fold this over. And get your bungees. There you go. That's a folded system. All right, party people, that'll do it for today's video. You guys know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you have one of these MTB hoppers or if you know of a ramp that's, that would be even better than the MTB hopper. I'd love to hear about it. Till next time, skill up and ride.